What's good you guys? Welcome back to another banger, another story time. But before we get into it, I want to give a quick shout out to XL Well. If you guys haven't heard of them, it's the best place to get Delta 9 edibles, vapes, gummies. If you guys are in an illegal state where traditional Delta 9 THC isn't legal, XL Well ships to all 50 states. That way you guys are able to get high and it's federally compliant. All their products derive from 100% hemp plant. So the Delta 9 is extracted from the hemp and it's, like I said, federally compliant in all 50 states. Make sure to go check them out. I will leave a link and a discount code down in the fucking comments. That way you guys are able to cop yourself some goodies. Get high, you know, like if you're in the middle of fucking like Wisconsin or fucking like Montana and shit and it's illegal. Hey, get, get high, you know, get high on some fucking good old quality Delta 9 hemp. Hey, now that that's out the way, let's get into this fucking story time. Hey, and let's get fucking faded. You guys saw the title, y'all seen the, y'all know the deal. Today I'm gonna be talking about the time my teacher called security on me in the middle of class. Guys, like, guys, this happened in the middle of class. So I remember this shit like it was yesterday. A, a lot of these stories, I, I've realized a lot of these shit that, like, these stories I'll be telling you guys happened during high school. And this one is no different. This one happened my junior year of high school. But before we get into this, let's light up this. Let's spark up this joint. Let's get high as fuck. Cheers. <sighs> Alright, let's get into this fucking story. Like I said, junior year of high school. At this time, my junior year, I don't know how many classes your guys' high school made you guys take, but... We we were uh, required to take six. So I had six classes throughout the day. You could take seven if you really wanted to. I think you were able to take eight. But you know me, out here doing the bare minimum and shit, just trying to graduate. So I had six classes. And my junior year, I had second lunch. So they gave two lunches, first and second. First lunch was basically you had lunch right after third period. And then second lunch was you had lunch right after fourth period. So that was me. I would go to fourth period take my lunch and then go back to my last two classes which i thought was pretty lit because i was like oh, okay instead of coming back to three classes i only got two classes like i said this happened junior year of high school so at this point i was already smoking not every day but me and the homies was like taking the bus and going to like the homies pad to, like sesh hot box and all that shit so we were already i was already smoking and like some teachers kind of knew that i was like that i was smoking because sometimes i would go high to class but like a lot of like some of them really didn't know, you know, because like at the same time, I was still passing my classes, getting good grades. Like I, I wouldn't get in trouble. You know, I try to be low key and shit. Like I don't try to be all up in the mix and stuff like because then motherfuckers like going to know something's up, you know. So I try to be low key with it. But yeah, so this time I go to class. It's lunch. No, I'm in lunch. This time I go to lunch. You know, it is what it is. And then I'm going and the bell rings. Boom, to go to class. So the bell rings and I walk to my Spanish class. And it was a it was AP Spanish. It was like legit for like Spanish speakers. I, I believe it was called AP Spanish or Spanish speakers or something like that. Or maybe it was like AP Spanish language. But anyways, it's an AP class. So you know, like it, it's a it's a high level class. And I was in there by force. Like they had assigned me that class at the beginning of the school year, and I had tried to like switch it out, but they they legit told me they were like, nah, we can't let you switch it out. They were like, there's no electives for you to switch it out of, switch it out to. Like, you know, there's like, there's nothing you can replace it with. And I was like, what the fuck? Like, you guys can't find nothing? And my counselor straight up told me, she's like, nah, you're going to thug it out. And I was like, what? And I was like, whatever, fuck it. So, like, even in the beginning, like, I already didn't want to be there, you know? So I was just forced to stick, stick it out the whole rest of the year, you know? So anyways, the bell rings for lunch. I start mobbing it back to class. And this teacher for this Spanish class, like... She was one of those teachers that, like, she would never open the door until, like, the bell rang to, like, to, like, get to class, you know? So, like, the bell would ring once, we would get to class, and then they would give us, like, those, what, five, six minutes to get to class, and then the bell would ring again. And if you if you were, like, walking into class after the second bell rang, then you was late, you was considered tardy, you know? So, she wouldn't open the door until the second bell rang. So, we're, we were, we're just out there up against the wall, like, on the side of the door, just waiting for her to open the door. And she comes out from the inside and she opens the door, you know, and like the bell had already rang. So we're just waiting. She opens the door and I'm like the fourth, fifth one to walk in, you know, like a couple people walking in front of me and then I walk in. And I'm telling you guys, right when I walk into this classroom, like it just slaps me in the face. Like you walk in and it smells like straight up weed, bro. Like 
Like, it, it legit smelled like right when you walked in, me, the people in front of me, I saw their reaction. They walk in and they're like, what the fuck? I walk in and I'm like, bro, who the fuck got like some fire on them right now? Like, bro, you would walk in and it, I swear to God, it feels like someone had just popped open a Mylar bag and just dumped out the nugs on the table. That's how fresh of, that's, that's how strong the smell of weed was. Like, it smelled like fresh weed. And so we're, we all walk in and we all sit down. We had like a sign seating and shit. And we all sit down and we're all just like looking at each other. We're like, what the fuck, bro? Like, I know, like, you guys smell this, right? Like, we're all like, bro, like, you guys smell this shit, right? So we're like, what the fuck? And then the teacher, you know, all the students sit down. The teacher comes in and, and she doesn't say a word, bro. Like, we're, we don't want to ask her because we're like, what the fuck? Like, I'm not going to ask her what the fuck. She probably thinks it's me and shit. So everyone's just quiet as fuck. And I remember the first thing she says is she's like, you could tell she was mad, bro. Like, I don't know what it was, but you can tell she was mad. And she goes, uh, go get your textbooks, open up to whatever page and start doing the assignments or whatever. You know, like it was one of those classes. Like you would just get in, get a, get your textbook, do assignments and then get out. That's honestly all, all we did. So we do this, bro. Like. First 15 minutes, first five minutes of class, we get the textbooks, whatever. So I'm sitting in my seat, you know, reading the book, pretending to read the book, trying to like, you know, trying to study, trying to like get my, get my education and shit. And like I'm saying, while we're doing this, like everyone's all quiet. You can hear the whispers like, oh bro, it smells like weed. Like, who do you think it is? And while we're doing our assignments, I noticed she picks up the, the phone. You know how like in the classroom, they would give you guys like a class phone or whatever. That way you could like the office could call you guys if someone's like leaving home early or whatever It was that phone so she picks it up and normally like she would never pick up the phone she would like Yeah, the office might call her and say oh you're going home or whatever, but she would never really like pick up the phone and make a phone call So this particular time she picks up the phone She dials and she kind of she's like whispering on the phone So we really can't hear it. like you, you all you all you know is that she's calling somebody and in my head, I'm looking at this and I'm like, yeah, she's calling security for sure. Like, uh, guarantee, like, why else would she pick up the phone? And I'm like, fuck. And I just remember thinking, like, ain't no way she thinks it's me, bro. Like, there's no fucking way. Like, and, and honestly, like, out of the, like, she, she didn't really fuck with me, like, for some fucking reason, bro. Which I thought was fucking crazy because it's like, bro, like, we're both Mexican. Like, she was Mexican, you know, teaching a Spanish class. And I'm like, bro, we're both Mexican, like... You know, like, like, I was like, why the fuck she, she would always pick on me, bro. She would always fuck with me. Like, like, I'll be like, what the fuck? She's always like picking on me. She's always like trying to fuck with me and shit. I don't know why, bro. Probably because like, I don't know. I don't know what it was. Maybe because I was like a little darker than her. I don't know. She was like, you know, one of them white, light skinned Mexicans, but it is what it is. You know, so she calls, she picks up the phone. She calls somebody. And like I said, I, in my head, I'm like, yeah, she's calling security. I, I'm already like not even questioning. I'm like, yeah, security's going to come busting through that door. So she hangs it up. And like I said, everybody's just doing their work. She hasn't said a word to us, bro. Like we're just sitting there like quiet as fuck. Dead silence just doing our work, bro. Because we're like everybody's afraid to say something. Like I'm not going to say something because like I, like I said, she probably expects it's me. So secure, So like five minutes later, you know, after she hung up the phone, we're chilling. I'm doing my work or at least pretending to do my work. And there's a knock on the door like someone just knocks on the door and you could just everyone's head just turns and just stares at the door She answers it She opens the door and guess who walks in? Motherfucking security Security walks in and like we're all looking at this motherfucker. She looks she looks me dead in my eye and she goes Gio get your stuff and I'm like I'm looking around like what the fuck? Fuck, bro, like, I, I ain't even doing nothing. I legit just walked in here, bro. Like, it smelled like weed before I even walked in here. Fuck, like, fuck you telling me to, like, get my shit for it. Look, I, I knew it smelled like weed in the class. I knew it wasn't me. I didn't have no weed on me, bro. And to be quite honest with you, I hated the fucking class. So I didn't even argue. I gladly picked up, closed my textbook, put that shit back, got my backpack, fucking packed up all my shit. At this time, I was playing soccer. It was my junior year of high school. I was on the soccer team. So I had all, like, I had my soccer bag and I had my regular backpack. So I pick up all my, like, my soccer bag. I pick up my backpack and I'm out, bro. I head out to security, bro. I'm like, fuck it. I'm out, bro. I hate, I hate this class anyways. Like, let me go waste security's time. I don't got shit. So I was like, let me just get the fuck up out this class. Any excuse to get up out the classroom, you know? Boom. So security takes me in the golf cart 
And they drive me to the office, bro. And I'm sitting there, like, I'm sitting, like, outside this office, like, in a chair. I'm waiting, like, five minutes with security. Security's waiting right next to me. And then the assistant principal opens up the door, and he's like, come in. So I guess it was his office. The assistant principal was cool as fuck. Like, he was chill. He would, like, never be, like, picking on nobody. He would be cool as fuck with the, with the students, which I really fuck with. So security tells him the deal. He's like, oh, this teacher called this, this, whatever, code, whatever the fuck they want to use, whatever they said. And the assistant principal looks at me and then he looks back at security and he's like, okay. And he this is, he he tells him, he's like, okay, proceed. And I'm like, proceed with what, motherfucker? Like, in my head, I'm like, what you mean? And security's like, oh, stand up against the wall. And this motherfucker, like, pats me down, bro. Like, he pats down everything. Like, he pats down my shirt, my pants, my socks. He makes me take off my shoes. He makes me empty out my pockets. He checks all my bags. He checks my backpack. I didn't even have shit in there. I probably had, like, a pencil or two and, like, a fucking binder and that's about it. He checked my soccer bags. In my soccer bag, I had like soccer cleats. I had like clothes, socks, like a different, like another pair of like clothes for soccer, you know? So he, he goes through every single piece of clothing. He goes through my shoes. He goes through my socks. He goes through my chapstick, bro. I had a, I had a fucking chapstick. I had a chapstick just like this. This motherfucker pops it open and he like sticks out the chapstick and everything. And I'm just like, what the fuck, bro? Like, <laughs> like you're doing too much now, bro. I even told him, I was like, bro, I don't even have nothing in there. Like, they're just like, yeah, we just got to do it. And I was like, whatever. And do your job, bro. So he checks it and they don't find nothing. Nothing, bro. I'm in there for like 15 minutes, like just getting searched. They don't find nothing. And the security tells him, the assistant principal, he's like, oh, yeah, he's clean. And he's like, okay, take him back. So, boom, they take me back to class. And I'm getting a ride for the security. And while we're on the way back, I ask him. I'm like, hey, bro. I was like, uh, I didn't have nothing on me. Why'd you guys search me? And he's like, he's like, it's because the teacher called us. And she said someone smelled like weed. And she told us it was you. And I was like, okay. And then I told him, I was like, clearly, I don't have anything. And then I asked him, I'm like, why am I the only one getting searched? Because I wasn't going to be like, oh, go search these motherfuckers. I wasn't going to be like, because to be honest with you, I don't know who had the weed. Like, everyone in that class, like. Like, I, I was the only one that smoked weed like that. So, like, I don't know if it was any one of them or if it was, like, if the scent was, like... Because, like I said, like, we walked in and it already smelled like weed. So, I don't think it was any one of us. I feel like it was one of, like, from our previous classes or something. But, anyways, he takes me back and I ask him. I'm like, why, why am I the only one getting searched? And he told me, he was like, bro, like, he was like, he was like, it's, it's honestly just because the teacher had called and said you were the one. It's so like, if she, like, just because she pinned it on you, you know, that's what the only reason you were the only one that got searched. And I was like, whatever. And I, I easily could have gone back and been like, hey, like, search all these motherfuckers or like, search this fool. Like, but nah, like, I ain't gonna, like, like I said, I didn't know who it was. I'm not gonna snitch on nobody either. Like, I knew I didn't have it. So it was like, whatever, you know, like, I wasn't really tripping. So I go back and I was gonna ditch. I was about to, like, go home and shit, but security walked me to my class and everything. So I was like, fuck, whatever. He walks me back to class and he tells the teacher, like, I walk back in, I sit down. And he's talking to the teacher and he's basically telling her, like, yeah, he's clean. It's not him. And the look on her face, bro, like, the look on her face when, when we knocked on the door and she opened it and she saw my face was like, bro, I got so much satisfaction out of that. Because she was like, yeah, she was like, I knew in her head. She was like, yeah, I got this dude. Like, I finally got him. Like, he's about to get suspended, this and that. Nah, bitch, you thought, like, man, she really thought, like, fuck no. You ain't about to catch me lacking like that. Like, you got me fucked up. You gonna have to do better than that. So, yeah, so I come back. Security tells her, like, yeah, it's not him. She's like, okay. You can tell on the inside she will butt her to the motherfucker. She was like, fuck. She was like, that was my only chance. But nah, so I come back. There's, like, five minutes left in class. I don't even grab my textbook. I'm just in there chilling on my phone because I'm like, fuck this bitch. She don't tell me shit either. Like, she don't tell me shit. I, she just looks stupid. She just looked dumb as fuck after that, you know? And everybody's like, what the fuck? Everybody thought I was going to get caught too, bro. They was like, no, he came back. They were like, what the fuck? And then the person sitting next to me was like, hey, what happened? And I was like, oh, I got searched. They were like, what? They were like, they didn't find nothing. And I was like, hell nah fuck you think this was bro like i ain't in here you got me fucked up so they don't find a thing and i you know i come back and after that like and i just go about i just remember i just go about my day and i end up going home and and that was that like bro 
Like, to this day, I'm like, bro, like, why did she just pick me? Because don't you guys think that's a little fucked up? Like, if you're a teacher, you open your door. There's no one in your class. You're the only one in class. You open your door, and all your students say it smells like weed. It probably be it's, it probably isn't one of them. Like, you know, it probably happened from your previous class. You know what? Sometimes I think, like, maybe it was her weed, and she was just like, she just brought weed that day, and she was just like, yeah, I'm going to try to blame this dude. I don't think she hated me that much, but, like, who the fuck knows? But, man, that's crazy. Like, she had no hesitation, bro. She called the security right quick. Like, not even five minutes in the class. She was like, yeah, bring the feds. She was like, yo, we got the Rico. We got this, dude. They come in. Boom, nothing. You thought, bitch. Nah, she was funny as fuck, though, because everybody couldn't believe it. She, I'm telling you, she couldn't believe it. It's like, almost like her jaw dropped almost. She was like, what the fuck? She was confused. Like, she had just seen a ghost. She was like, nah, you're supposed to be gone. It's like, you thought. Like, what the fuck you thought this was? Down this joint smacking. Oof. But yeah, guys, that's the time my Spanish teacher called security on me. Looking back on it, I kind of understand, but it was like, damn, bro. If, like, if I'm going to get searched, you better search the whole fucking classroom, bro, because I wasn't the first one that walked in. I was like the fifth, sixth, you know? But it is what it is. Hey, at least I got, like, I got out of class for, like, 20 minutes. Which I, I fucked with, you know, that shit was pretty dope. That shit was cool as fuck, though. That shit was annoying, though, low-key. Like, just getting searched, because, like, when you get searched, I'm not gonna lie, you kind of feel violated. Especially when they start patting down by your legs. I'm like, what the fuck, bro? Like, this is crazy. Like, but it was like, whatever, bro. I ain't got nothing on me. I ain't got nothing to hide, bro. That shit was wild. Hey, if you guys ever had a similar story happen to you guys in school, let me know down in the comments, bro. Like, I can't be the only one that this has happened to, right? Like, am, like is my luck just that bad that, like, I'm the only one? Nah, like, I, I, like, I, I didn't, like I said, I didn't have nothing on me. I didn't get caught or nothing. Like, I'm sure there's been a couple of you guys that got caught. To you guys, I say move different, move smarter. Stop taking, like, you know, stop smoking weed in school. Especially those who hotbox the, hotbox the bathroom and shit. Like, if you out there hotboxing bathrooms, bro, like, stop it. Get some help. Wait till you get home. How about your own bathroom? I don't know. Once you're out of school, you can do whatever the fuck you want. You know, like, that's why I never understood motherfuckers who would, like, do, do, like, crazy shit in school. Like, motherfuckers would be out there doing coke, like, fucking smoking weed in the bathroom. Like, that's just crazy. Like, bro, like, I, like, you can't wait till you get home, bro. Or at least, like, leave school. Like, just ditch. Like, just straight up leave and then come back. Or, like, straight up leave, go smoke, and then come back. Or don't even come back at all. Like, what the fuck? It is what it is, you know. People will do what they pe people are gonna do what they want to do, you know. Just make sure you guys move smart, you know. Be smart about it. Don't don't do stupid shit. Don't do it obviously, you know. Try to like be low key, cause the last thing you want to do is get caught and just you know, especially when you're like in high school, cause then your parent your parents are gonna get a phone call, like your guardians or whatever, and then it's gonna be like, oh fuck, it's gonna be all bad. It's gonna be like, yeah, deal with bullshit. So it's just like, might as well just not like get caught at all, you know. So yeah, take away the story. Don't take weed to school. Um, smoke weed after school, you know. Be smart about it. Hey, I appreciate you guys if you guys stick it out to the end. Let me know what you guys think. Hey, you guys think she was fucked up for that or not? Nah? I think she was a little bit fucked up for that, but like, I'm not too butthurt about it. But let me know what you guys think. I appreciate every single one of you guys, like, for real. We're on the road to 8K. We're, we're damn near almost there, but we're trying to hit 10K by the end of the year. Hopefully even sooner than that. Hey, make sure to run up the likes. Like I said, YouTube age restricts me. So, like, the likes really help. It helps me, like, pop up on the algorithm and things like that. It helps me get more, like, uh, it helps me get more views. Make sure to drop a like, guys. If you're new, make sure to subscribe. More bangers on the way. More story times on the way. I know you guys really fuck with them. I know I've been lagging on them, but, like... Like I said, I'm working on being more consistent for you guys. I love you guys. Thank you guys so much. Uh, visit XL Well, discount code Jill, 20% off, all that good shit down in the comments. I'll leave the link. Thank you guys so much, and I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm out.